It, it's gotten to the extent now that the power, the power bills on just the houses we build, even the smaller ones, are you know expensive. And it's ex and here in the high desert, you've got extreme temperatures. It goes from snowing to 115 in the summertime. So you need to have air conditioning in the summertime, and uh, you know that takes a lot of power, as you know. So I think it behooves us to be thinking of. Uh, you know, what's the cost of the house and then what's the cost to operate the house. So on the uh, G.D. Pierce job, which is a multifamily development and apartment complex, um, we, um, we work closely with J.D. Pierce to um, provide all their uh, electrical power for their common areas, their clubhouse, their outdoor lighting, their swimming pool equipment. We are powering all of that using solar energy. From the street, you cannot see those panels at all. Um, and if you're just a regular bystander, you don't know that this whole project is basically powered by solar. You know, we got lucky here in planning it really well that it's basically hidden. It doesn't, you don't have any ugly structures anywhere. And uh, it was thought of beforehand rather than afterhand. The actual installation cost of the, of the whole solar system was reduced substantially by the incentives that we got from Edison, from the state, and in the tax credits. So those got the, the initial investment down to a reasonable level where we could say, okay, over the life of this project, you know, we've spent this much money to keep our, you know, essentially keep our Edison bills low. And I think the other thing that's going on is the Edison bills are just, you know, seemingly they just continue to go up and there doesn't seem to be any pause in their ability to continue to charge us more for electricity. Our inverter that's in the pool equipment room um, is hooked up to the internet obviously and it calculates how much power is being produced at any given time. Um, if, the inver if the inverter itself is producing or if it's down for some reason, um, we can tell that. We can look at historical data, how much it's produced for a week, month, year. Um, and then what's good about the monthly is I can look at our Edison bill and see kind of where we are on usage, but I can also tell how much we produce. So it kind of gives me both sides of the coin, so to say. We first have to look at the economics, but you know, if the economics work, if we have a side benefit of you know, producing less greenhouse gas, if we have a side benefit of helping out Edison, you know, not using as much power on a, on a hot day, you know, I think that's great. Um, unlike uh, most investments, solar energy appreciates. And the way it does is as, as electrical rates rise, the value of your in investment increases. On the more citizenship side of things, um, the fact they, they've built a green multifamily development, uh, one of the first in the state of California, where we're powering the common area, we're heating the swimming pool, we're powering the electrical equipment for that swimming pool, all with the sun.